from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A quick reminder, this coming Saturday is my first official live chat. It's taking place Saturday, May 6th, 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A, of course. I might have a weird darkness story to tell. And every person who joins the live chat will have an opportunity to download my one and only live stand-up comedy album, Truth or Darren. It'll only be available during the live chat, though, and once the chat is over, the link that I shared during the live broadcast will be taken down and no longer work. How's that for an incentive to tune in live? So I hope you can join me this Saturday. How about a TV comeback for the show Roseanne? Roseanne Parr, John Goodman, and Sarah Gilbert have all signed on for an eight-episode reunion series. Now, if you're wondering about the other daughter, uh, Becky, well, it doesn't really matter. We, we know that that role's interchangeable with any blonde actress anyway. President Trump said that he's open to meeting with North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. Trump says of the potential meeting, I would be honored to do it. Trump and Kim will gleefully exclaim at the same time, Dude! Where did you get that great haircut? A woman is suing Qatar Airlines for spilling coffee on her during a January flight. Upon hearing her threat while still on the plane, Qatar Airlines went all united on her and dragged her out of the plane after hitting her with a baby stroller. Federal agents just seized 300 pounds of yak meat that was illegally smuggled into JFK Airport. I'm imagining there's not a lot of yak meat smugglers on LinkedIn. A hacker claims to have stolen the newest season of Netflix's hit Orange is the New Black. The hacker is demanding Netflix pay a ransom or else. Yeah, good luck with that, pal. I'm going to assume the folks at Netflix are smart enough to back up their shows on an external hard drive. 92-year-old Canadian man says the secret to staying young is going to raves. Then again, he might have said not going to graves. You know what? He was mumbling. It was kind of hard to tell. In Japan, a 24-karat solid gold Darth Vader mask is going on the auction block. It could go for as much as $1.4 million. They're hoping to raise enough money to help the Empire rebuild the Death Star. Again. A report says more animals died on United Airlines flights in 2016 than any other airline. On the plus side, it does make them easier to drag off. After a year-long search, Kelly Ripa has finally chosen her co-host, Ryan Seacrest. Way to go, Kelly! You have somehow found a way to hire someone even more past their relevancy than you! A groom in China could not convince his parents and friends that his bride-to-be was the right woman for him, so when they all refused to come to the wedding, the groom hired 200 fake guests to fill his side of the ceremony venue. Even worse, all the wedding gifts they gave were cheap knockoffs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Be sure to sign up for the Marler Sheet if you're not already signed up. Everybody who's registered is automatically entered to win a monthly prize drawing. For May 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo, and you can sign up for the Marler Sheet newsletter free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!